Hey folks, this is Vince with Dad's Gaming Addiction, and today we're going to play another game of X-Wing. Now it's my turn to be the Rebels, and um, as such I get to try out the CR-90 for the very first time. I'm looking forward to that. Um, the first video that we uh, covered for this particular ship uh, lasted like an hour and a half, so we ended up having two different videos, um, one part one, one part two. And if it happens again, which I foresee it happening, um, We'll have uh, the second video linked to the first one, just like the last time. So I apologize for the game length, but uh, this ship does take a little bit um, extra time to sort of resolve, because we're relatively new to it. Um, so with that said, let's go ahead and take a look at what ships Vinny picked and what upgrade cards went with them. Okay, as far as my CR-90 goes, um, I have for the aft section, quad laser cannon, engineering team, WED-15, repair droid. For the forward section, I have Han Solo, gunnery team, and the quad laser cannons. All of that comes to 114 points. Okay, as far as this mess is concerned, we've got Colonel Jendon in the Lambda class shuttle, heavy laser cannon, ST-321 title, gunner, fire control system, shield upgrade, Major Reimer is in this TIE bomber, shield upgrade, Fletchette torpedoes, concussion missiles, proton torpedoes, marksmanship, finally Gamma Squadron pilot in this TIE bomber, Fletchette torpedoes, concussion missiles, all of that comes to 114 points. Okay, just a few things to note before we get started. I do not have a dedicated video camera, so the lighting and the coloring may be off at times. Also, we play to have fun, and that's really what's important here. Um, if we miss a few rolls, I'm not too worried about it. We try to follow the rolls 100% of the time, but on occasion we do miss some things. We're only human, so um, any nasty comments will be deleted, of course, but um, any friendly comments will be welcome. So with that said, let's go ahead and uh, move on to the planning phase. Okay, um, we went ahead and planned our moves off camera. Let's start with you. You've got, um, your lowest is four, isn't it? Over there? Oh, yeah. Okay, so we'll go with that one first. We have initiative. I have initiative. You have initiative. Mm -hmm. But the large, these, yeah, these huge ships move last anyway. Or they activate last, I should say. They're not. After out. the small and medium, or the small and large ships, they activate after that. So you're going two straight ahead. That's a green maneuver. And, um, what action would you like to take for that? Let's see, what do I want? Uh, my TIE Bombers can do... I'll do a focus action. Focus. Alright, there we go. Oh, they're all over there. I got it. And next up you have your six, which is Colonel Jenden. Would you like some help? I got it. They're just having some technical difficulties. Uh-huh, technical difficulties. <laughs> okay, and what would you like to do with him? Hmm. He can do a focus or target lock action, but I don't think he's in range for a target lock. No. Yes, um, I'll use, I will use a target lock action. When attacking, when acquiring a target lock, you may target lock onto any enemy ship in the player area. So your title allows you that. Ability. Okay, so now you're gonna lock onto my forward section. Yeah. I can hear your back too, but I'm not gonna be in range or anything. And I'll do my second high bomber, my last okay. one, Major Reimer. He will be going two straight ahead. I before. Okay. And what action would you like to take with him? Focus. We're probably not in range, so that's why I'm doing the focus action. Okay. Order to get out of the way. Alright. Can you kind of see the maneuver thing? There we go. <laughs> Alright. I will then move mine. It's one slight turn this way. So, where is this beast at? Alright, there we go. <laughs> Alright, so... I've forgotten how to do this. Oh yeah, corner. There we go. It's been a while. Alright, so now we just move that and then up like that. There we go. That gets snug. Okay, good. Alright, now I get to acquire some energy. There's three energy on my maneuver dial. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'll just put that on my card, my aft section. And now I can reassign that energy if I'd like to. Um, I will go ahead and reassign the energy to my forward laser cannon. 
my quad laser cannon. And I'll keep one energy left on my aft section. All right, as far as my two actions, one for the front, one for the back, um, am I in range for target lock? I don't think so. I don't have a sensory team. No. So I can't do a target lock. Um, the second one is the, what is that? The coordinate action. I don't have another ship to coordinate with, so I can't do that. Um, the aft section I can reinforce, which I'll go ahead and do, even though I don't think I'll need it. And I think that's it for that. So... You're not in range. You're in range for your uh, one. Yeah. All right, so as far as that goes, I think we're done with the activation phase. On the combat, um, I'm going to go ahead and... Um, you can't shoot me at all, because you're not in range. My um, primary weapon, though, on my forward section... Um, let's see, it has a range of 3 to 5. So let's see who I can hit from range 3 to 5. Um, Bow ships. All of our ships. Who want? I don't think, um, I can't reach the TIE Bomber in the back, but I can reach this TIE Bomber over here. That's at range 5. Um, however, you would get 3 defense die. I'll get the, 2 for him. You'll get, you would get 2 for the shuttle. So, hmm. What do decisions, decisions. I will go ahead and, um, how many shields does your, I'll go ahead and attack your TIE Bomber, even though I'm probably going to miss with this, but um, I'm going to attack the TIE Bomber back I there. get five defense dice. Alright, well let me roll my attack mm -hmm. dice first. So I get four attack die. Now I've got some other abilities I can use with it. Um, when attacking with your primary weapon, you may spend one energy to roll an additional attack die. So I'm going to spend the one energy that's left on my card, my ship card, to get an extra attack die. Now before you roll, let me... I've got some other abilities here that I need to take into consideration. So I've got hit critical. Now let me see here. Um, now engineering team's not going to help me. Gunnery team, once per round when attacking with a secondary weapon, I can't use that. And Han Solo. When attacking, if you have a target lock on the defender, which I do not, so I can't use that. And, yeah, I can't use anything. So go ahead and roll your defense die. You've got four, four evade, evade and a focus, focus, so I miss. Okay. All right, good. All right, so now cleanup occurs. Um, we'll go ahead and remove unused tokens. Target locks stay there. All right, back on to planning. Okay, planning phase, and then on to activation, um, starting with your TIE Bomber on the right, to my right. You're going two straight ahead? Yes. Green maneuver? I actually hit it on the wrong part. Mm-hmm. Am I in range? For what, a target lock? I need my, yeah. You are not. Okay. Focus. Focus. All right, next stop is your shuttle. One hit straight ahead. One straight ahead. <laughs> there. I'm going so slow today. And what would you like to do with that? Hmm. Target lock focus. You already got a target lock, so you have to take the focus. Unless you have something else you can what use I for an action. No, I can't use the target lock, but... Focus, I guess. Focus? Alright. It's the only other ability. All right, but so I do have an ability I can use for him. Right here. So I can see it. Finally, you keep bumping your TIE Bomber. Two straight ahead. What range are we at? Well, what? what when is the combat phase? Hold on. So, your action for this? You're not in range for a target lock. So you can focus or barrel roll, unless you have some other card ability that I uses an action. See, so. I'm gonna focus, I guess. Focus? Alright. Right, I have an ability that I can give him in my turn. Okay. I will go ahead and resolve mine now. Two straight ahead. Actually, what am I doing? I'm gonna use that. Yeah, yeah. Alright, so let's go ahead and move up two. Blue line, there we go. And now I get to gain energy. I get three energy plus one from my engineering team. During the activation phase, when you reveal a straight maneuver, you gain an additional energy during the gain energy step. So I get four energy for this. Now I'm going to now reallocate this energy. Um, question is, what am I going to do with it? Um, I'm going to put two on my aft quad laser cannons 
and I'll keep the other two on my ship cart itself. All right, so I think that resolves that. Is it the start of the uh, after the combat phase? I'm thinking. I'm I'm trying to see if there's anything else. Oh, I have two actions I can perform. One for the front, one for the back. The front section, um, I can target lock somebody. If you want to. If I want to, which I plan to. I will go ahead and... We are at range three. Yeah, I'm at range three. So I'm going to go ahead and target lock QQ. In the back, you can do reinforce if you want. I'm thinking. Probably reinforce because... I'm thinking. And then, well, reinforce is really my only option. I'll put that in the forward section. Okay, now it is the combat okay. phase. What? I'm going to use my uh, Colonel Jenden ability. At the start of the combat phase, you may send one of your blue target locks tokens to a friendly share at range 1 if it does not have a blue target lock token. So who are you giving the target lock to? The TIE Bomber? Okay. Alright. Okay, combat phase starting with the highest pilot skill, which is 7. Um, not range yet? 3. Yes, I will use my spend my target lock for my Colonel Jennings ability that let me give his my his target lock. So you're spending your target lock to do what? Use my proton torpedoes. Proton torpedoes. Two to three. Range two to three. Major okay. Hunter is supposed to add a plus one, but I'm not in. I can't do that because I don't have that. All right. So you get how many attack dice is it sailing for? All right. So four attack dice. You don't get any bonuses because it's secondary. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's right. And you have I have a reinforce. Alright, so you've got three hits and a blank. I should use my concussion. It'll let me change one to a hit. Mm-hmm. Alright, so three hits. Um, I don't get to roll any defense die because, well, the, a, the range doesn't factor in because he's used a secondary weapon. I do have a reinforce, however, so that negates one of those hits. So I get two shields down on my forward section. So now I'm down to three shields on my forward section. All right, next up, um, we have the pilot skill six, which is what here. What range are we at? Two, I believe. Just eyeballing it. Yeah, that's our range two. I'll use my heavy laser cannons. Heavy laser cannons. Heavy cannon. Okay, so is that, do you need a focus for that or anything or no? No, it says attack one ship. All right. Three. How many three. attack dice? Four? Yeah, it has from two to three. I got some other ones I can I have to do for the Alright, well go ahead. Roll your four attack dice. I know you have the gunnery card. That's our gunner, rather. So you've got three focus I'll and spend the focus. You'll spend the focus to get four hits. Alright. So now I will again I've reinforced here. At range two, that's a secondary weapon anyway, so range doesn't matter. So again I take uh, three hits. So and now I, I have no shields on my forward section. But I do have an ability if it did not attack hit. Well, it After did you hit, so... An attack, immediately does not hit, immediately perform a fire Yeah, well, the gun, yeah, you can't use the gunner I'll because you hit. I'll use fire control system. After you perform an attack, you may acquire a target lock on the defender. Okay, so you're going to reacquire a target lock. <laughs> there we go. So your fire control system lets you reacquire a target <laughs> lock. All right. You're four back there. You have initiative. So, yeah, but you're like not in range. You're in range. So, no. now I will shoot back. Um, I get to fire once with my primary weapon and once with each secondary weapon. Now, with my primary weapon, let's go ahead and do that first. Um, I will go ahead and spend an energy to give myself an extra attack die for my primary weapon. So, who am I going to attack? That's the question. Um, my attack. I'm going to attack this TIE Bomber back here, range 3, so you get an extra defense die. I get so defense let, me, die. let me get my 4 attack die. Now I've got some other cards to consider. I've got a target lock. And I also have a focus for my defense. Well, actually, I've got a target lock on your shuttle. Hmm? Oh, it's right here. No. Q... Yeah, you target Oh, okay, that's right. Your V is... Okay, I got it. Yeah. All right, I thought I thought so. Okay, so let me go ahead and roll these. Now, before you roll, let me do... Wow, I didn't even do two anything. critical, two hits. Now, let me see if I want to do anything more with that. Um, gunnery team, no. Engineering, no. Han Solo, no. 
Okay, so I'm good with that. So go ahead and roll your defense die now. The major rhymer, you have one shield left. Three blank. Okay, so you lose. That I need two. Hit, you need a critical. Hit, two hit criticals. You need a hit and a two criticals. All right, so here's your two criticals. One is choose one of your second upgrades and discard it. One of your secondary upgrades and discard it. Weapons. Let me Left see. Upgrade cards and discard it. Let me see. It just start one of your secondary weapons. Weapon malfunction. Oh, wait. Immediately choose munitions failure. Immediately choose one of your secondary weapon upgrade cards. So which one are you getting rid of? The Fletchette torpedoes? Yes. All right. Now, the second one is reduce your primary weapon value by one. As an action, you can roll one attack die on a hit or critical. You can flip this card face down. So let's go ahead and flip the munitions failure face down. Let's keep this face up and let me get a critical token out of the box so I remember that you have that primary weapon problem. All right, um, next up I've got a secondary weapon. Let's see if I'm in range though. You the quad is range one to two. You're at range two. For the shuttle. Yeah, but mm -hmm. I have a special. All right, well let me, let me figure out what I'm gonna do with this first. Forward section. My aft section is not in range to do anything, so I have to use my secondary forward section. Um, I get three attack dice with this, but I also have some other stuff I could use. So let's go ahead and roll that. I have to spend one energy to fire this, so let me spend one energy. Alright, I've got a critical, a focus, and a blank, but let me see about... Hold on. Um, which one is it? Gunnery Team. Once per round, when attacking with a secondary weapon, you may spend one energy to change one of your blank results to a hit result. So I will spend an energy on that card. Come on. Now is that on my... Do I... No, wait. I have to spend the energy on... Do I spend the energy on my, my ship card or on my gunner card? You may spend one... Well, the crew is attached to my... App section. So let me put the energy back onto my quad laser and take the one energy away from my aft. Okay. So, all right, you got a blank. What did you? What did you get a blank? I, didn't know. I just did blank because I didn't know I was waiting for you. Uh huh. Focus. Who are you attacking? I was attacking the shuttle. So you're gonna change that? Yeah, in order to decrease the attack. I don't want to lose shields. Okay, now is there anything else I can do? Um, Thanks. no. I dropped it. Okay, so you lose one shield then. One hit, one critical, you had one evade, so you lose one. Okay. Alright, so I think we are done with combat and clean up unused tokens. Focus. Focus. I could have used a focus. Reinforce. Okay. Okay, activation phase starting with your four over here. That is a one. All right. And what action would you like to do with him? Can I do a trigger lock? Uh, we'll see. No. Barely. There's yeah. No, there's no way. Okay. So you can focus or barrel roll. Focus, I guess. Focus. All right. Next up is your six. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going nowhere. You're staying, and that's a stress maneuver. Yeah. Okay, and so no action. You're seven. What are you going to do with him? Uh, I believe the same thing. Unshrink. One. I believe it's this kind of time to be the same maneuver, kind of. Mm -hmm. And what, um, what action do you want with him? Focus. Focus. Okay, um, now do you have any abilities that could have been activated at this point or no? Uh, not really. Check your, check your card. You have so many upgrade cards, I want to make sure that you're not missing something here. No? Some of them are meant for attacking, but... Alright, just check. Yeah, instead of using a focus, could I do the marksmanship? Yes, yeah, so you can use the marksmanship if you want. Okay. Um, let's put that here just to remind myself. Torpedoes, I believe. Didn't you use the torpedoes? Oh yeah, it was major armor because I had a... Okay. Alright, so now I get to go. Let me go ahead and resolve mine. Two straight ahead. Okay. 
All right. And I get three energy, but because that was a straight maneuver, I get four from my engineering team. So let me do this. All four I'm going to put on my apt section. And, yeah, I think I'll keep them there. And four, let's see what I can do now. Any energy? No. All right, I will, um, I will go ahead for my front section. I already have a target lock, so I can't really do much with that. Coordinate, nothing. The app section, let me go ahead and use my um, recharge ability, I think it's called, where I can spend all of the energy on my card to recover shields. I have four energy, so I'm going to recover four shields on my forward section. Okay, so I think that's all of everything I can do. Okay, on to the combat phase. Um, what? In the start of the combat phase, I'll use my ability to switch this over. Okay, so you're going to switch that over. Okay, so now we're on to the combat phase. Okay, combat phase starting with the 7 over here. What you... range are we at? I believe 2. Um... Two for the forward section, and three for the aft. I'm doing the forward because I'm forward using section. my target lock ability to use the concussion. Okay, so you're going to use your concussion. You have to spend a target lock, yes? Yes. So V, V, all right. And how many attack dice do you get? Four. If I was at range of one, I, was, I would be able to use it because of my range of ability. Mm-hmm. So, that's at range one. Hmm. So go ahead and roll them. And you've got two blank... A, a, a focus. No, you got two focus. I can change that to a critical hit. And a blank and a hit. This was a focus, a hit. The blank, because the concussion missile... Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Two well, focuses. You had two focus. Now, does it say to change every focus? No, this one does. When the, attacking this round, you may change one of your focus results to a hit or critical, and then all the Okay, so marksmanship works with secondary weapons, too. Okay, you may change one of your... Okay. Then, the concussion missiles. You may change one of your blank results to a hit result. Okay. Alright, that's fine. So, now you've got three hits and a critical there. Um, unfortunately, I can't do much with that, so I have to take the damage. You just lose all your shields, mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright, so let me go ahead and discard the concussion missile, and put marksmanship back over here. Now it's my turn to attack. You're with the shuttle? Yeah. What range are we get? Make sure... Probably I... range two. Yeah. Heavy laser cannons. Heavy laser cannons. Okay. Now, Consider how many attack dice? Four? Four. Okay. And you don't have to spend anything to do it. Three blank, or no, two blank, a focus, and a hit. Uh, so I get hit once. Yeah. So I get one face down okay, damage card. I will, I'll use the fire control system and may, may require a target lock. So I just pretty much get a target lock back. Alright, so you and you. Okay. So let me put this on my forward section. How about him? I need the right roller to make sure. You are, on, I think, range three. Yeah. Yes, range three. No turbo lock, so I have to use my primary. Primary weapon, how many attack dice? Two? Two. All right. Now I'm at range three, so I get one defense die. <laughs> All right, so you can go ahead and... I do have a focus. You yes, you do. A blank, or no, oh, focus and a hit. So you're going to change your... Focus to a hit. Now I get focus. focus. So I get two hits. So I get two face down damage cards. Okay. So now my hull has three damage on it. Now I get to shoot back. Um, what? I did two. I had two damage on you. Oh, how many did I give myself? <laughs> One extra. Oh, okay. Where did the other two come from? You didn't have the other two, I don't think. Oh, two came from the shuttle and two came from the TIE Bomber. How many hull do you have? I have eight hull. So right, I have so four, I'm halfway, halfway to being dead on the forward section. Okay, so I'm going to shoot back now. Uh, my primary weapon, let me just see what, what that's at. I think everyone might be out of range, but we'll see. Yeah. Just slide that in like this. The 
Everybody's at a range three over here. No, three. The tie bomber here is at range three. Oh, this it. is at this is barely at range three. Oh, the, their their back section is at range three. So I can shoot, and this tie bomber over there is also at range three. I'm gonna go ahead and target. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and target. Mm, I'm thinking. My quad can hit that. Yeah, I'm going to attack Major Rhymer here. Um, with my primary weapon, I don't have any uh, extra energy to reinforce my attack. I get four attack dice. I don't have any abilities that help me there. Alright, so let me go ahead and roll these. Um, wow. I hit in a critical, but let me see if there's anything else I can do about it. Um, once per round, when... No. On solo. When attacking, if you have a target lock on the defender, you may spend your target lock to change all of your focus results to hit results. Um, it might be easier for me just to spend the target yeah, lock and re-roll, just re-roll these two dice. What would happen if you got two focuses? I'd be mad. <clears throat> critical. Okay, so I've got two criticals and a hit. Wow, I got already got two criticals. Two, one evade. So you get two critical wow. hits. Wow! <laughs> I'm critical disaster. Alright, well one of these was a direct hit. So that counts as two damage and a I damage sensor. Right yeah, well, you have you have three. This is four, five, and then six. So you're. What you're, is this? Can I perform an action this time? Well, your doesn't matter. You're dead anyway. So let's just go ahead and remove that. Five, six, seven. All right. Wow. So now I can attack with my secondary weapon if I want to, which I can attack. Is that see range one you to might, two? I might lose. Well, we'll see. Yeah, my forward section's pretty banged up. Um, yeah, range one to two there. Um, so I'm going to attack with my secondary weapon, quad laser cannon, range one to two, three attack dice. I got one of them. I do have a gunnery, gunner team, so I want to observe that effect. Um, let me, I have a hit, a focus, and a blank. Um, I do not have a target lock on the defender, so I can't use Han Solo. Gunnery team, once per round, uh, you may spend one energy, which I do not have any. I have an energy on my, and oh, I have to spend an energy to fire this in the first place. Now, again, do I get to spend this energy from anywhere? Because I have energy in my quad la my quad lasers in the back, but now nah, forget it. All right, I'll be fair about it. So one hit is all I get with that. Evade. Now, oh, I don't have an extra energy anyway. With, if I didn't get a hit, I could spend one more energy to perform the attack again, but I don't have any more energy. All right, so that combat is done. Let's go ahead and remove unused tokens. I don't think there are any. No. All right, on to planning. Okay, uh, movement or activation phase, starting with your four. Five, K turn. I'm going really far. I have no action for that. Oh, wow. I'm, I'm running into you. Let's see. <laughs> You're going to run into me. Um, all right, so you get a stressful or a stress token there. Um, your shuttle now does what? Three straight. Probably I'm crashing. Into yeah, you're gonna crash. But you don't hit me. And let me um, read the uh, instructions on how to resolve that hit. One moment. Okay, so in looking at the huge ship rules, um, it's normal collision rules with the um, added thing that um, you have to roll one attack die and resolve any hits or criticals as rolled. Focus. So you don't have to worry about that. But you do not get an action with that particular thing I because you hit. Have. Yeah. So now... Um, Can I still get, like, get, get destroyed if you run into me? Or yeah. <laughs> so, two straight ahead. Um, let's see here. Technically, you don't run into me. I'm still hitting you, so I don't think that works. Alright, well, definitely. I'm moving two straight, so I am going, you're, I'm going to be landing like right on top of you. So, let me again consult the rule book on how to resolve this. <laughs> okay, so basically what happens is um, this ship gets immediately destroyed. That's... I move up two. And now I have to roll two attack dice, uh, two for a large ship, one for a small ship, and then resolve it. I've got one hit there, so I have to take a face down damage card. I'm dead. I'm not defeating you. I don't even have much attack left. All right, so let me just move the tide or the um, lambda over here. 
stupid. All right. Well, hey, I didn't make the rules. Write a letter to Fantasy Flight. They All should right. do is if you already crashed in a lap, they should do is if it does not work. That ability does not work mm -hmm. until you get out of it. You're not touching anything. You're only saying that because you're on the receiving end. Okay, so now I get I get to add energy here. Three. Now I went straight, so I get four energy. I'm going to add that to my forward section, or my aft section, rather. For my action, I will go ahead and um, assign two, or no, to move, reallocate this energy. I'm going to move two over to my quad laser cannon here and keep two on my ship card. Now, I get two actions. The forward section, I will target lock. QQ. And for the rear section, I will play the uh, recharge. I have two energy on that card, so I get two shields back. Well, you're still heavily damaged. Yes, I am. All right, so I believe that resolves. Oh, we should have to get the stress token from my table. Oh, there you go. Okay, so on to combat now. Um, we'll start with your four. You still have initiative. So now here's the thing, though. Your, your firing arc is here, and you can't, you can't hit me. Like, like, like. Nope. All right, so now my turn. Now I cannot shoot with my primary weapon because you're too close. My secondary weapon, however, oh. is in range, range one to two. I get three attack dice. I'll spend one energy to shoot my forward Secondary weapon here. Let me see what I got. Um, a focus wow. and two blanks. Now let me see about redoing. Let me see what, what I want to do. Um, I have a target lock. I can change all of my focus to hit results. No, I'm not going to do that. that. I could spend my target lock and just re-roll everything. Or once per round when attacking, you may spend one energy to change a blank to a hit. How about the CR90s? The forward section. What about it? The forward section. Look for the ability. What are you talking about? Mm -hmm. The ability is I can add one energy to yeah. attack with my primary weapon. Oh, I thought it was like a re-roll thing. No. That's what I thought. No. I I'm just thinking about what I want to do. All right, I'm going to spend one energy to, um, because I'm not, you're, I can't hit you with this. I'm going to spend one energy to re-roll this again, to perform this attack again. All right, now let me go ahead and I've got a critical, a hit, yeah, and a I blank. Yeah, I to get my defense to hide. Yeah, now with the gunnery team, I can chain, I can spend one energy, which actually I don't have any energy left. <laughs> I have some energy on my rear can or my rear cannons, but I don't know if I can use it. Um, I could spend a target lock to change all focus to hit results. Oh, yeah. All right, I'll just keep it like that. So I'm um, good and roll two um, defense die. Focus, focus. focus. So, so a hit and a critical. So oh one face God. one face down, one face up. Structural damage. Reduce your agility value by one to a minimum of zero. Roll one attack dies in action on a hit result. Flip this card face down. I thought it's not on a critical too. Alright, so that it should be the end of combat, and now we'll move back on to planning. Okay, on to the activation phase, starting with your four. It's three why are you running into me? Are you committing suicide? <laughs> yeah, it's been much. <laughs> All right. I'm with the edges. So no action. Unless you turn. Then no I'm action ready. for you, but you also have to roll a dice now for the hit or critical, if you get one. Focus. Focus. So you're good. No action though. You've got a stress token anyway. If you turn that way. Maybe. I am. I will move mine. It's one slight. Turn. I'll move that way. Well. Wow. My ship taking hit. Alright, so wait. Let's do that. You were here. So, I wish there was a way to... Just move that out of the way. Okay. Where were you at? Let's, let's put you right there, and you're right in front of the queue. Alright, so the final... Let's see if I'm... I'm hit. Alright, so it did hit you. I do a suicide. <laughs> so... Your ship is destroyed. You're gonna roll. You have to roll. You have to roll. I have to roll. I have to roll one damage. Blank. No damage for me. 
Okay, so... Two suicides? Two su well, yeah, two suicides, two, no, I, two collisions. No, one... And one legitimate destruction. One accident, because I was trying to go in front of you, but apparently my Lambda class didn't go that far, and I was trying to risk it. Mm -hmm. I should say put there, but that was a suicide. Yeah, good game. <laughs> and there you have it. Hopefully you enjoyed our little video. As you can see, the huge ships require a lot of planning for both the attacker and the defender, especially for the defender. Um, if these huge ships happen to hit you, you automatically lose these ships, and as you saw, that's pretty devastating. A TIE Bomber has 6 hit points, and a Lambda class shuttle has 10. 5 for the shields, 5 for the hull, and losing those um, on one move is pretty devastating, I think. So, um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to seeing some more uh, huge ships. Um, I'm anxious to see what a Star Destroyer and a Mon Calamari Cruiser battle would look like. Um, though I think I would need a larger mat for that. Um, this is only a 3x3. Three three. So, with that said, you can check out my review of the core game, www.dadsgamingaddiction.com, or you can click on the links in the below description that'll take you there as well. This is Vince and Vinny Jr. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time.